hey you, yeah you, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna help explain some things that might give you a different perspective, but shh, it's not for everybody. Before we get started, I wanted to thank everyone who has supported and shown interest in our content. We are growing fast, and we can't do it without you. We love and appreciate you all, so go ahead and share our channel with someone who might really need this. Follow us on IG for daily motivational content and up-to-date information on prizes just for following or tuning in. Take a look at our merchandise online with new affiliates and collaborations weekly. Come and join us right here on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And that is subject to change with more platforms to come. So look for us, tune in, and let's have some fun. Chapter 8, Health. When you hear this sound, it's time to pay close attention. As I have stated before, to give you a different perspective or alternate way of looking at things and never one-dimensional while never too focused to see what's on the side roads. Pick up some survivors along the way, and when we live above the norm, we are curious about all angles. We want to see it coming before it gets to us, to be prepared for whatever crosses our paths. We want to be able to defend ourselves, and that's what being a human is all about. Survival, survival of the fittest. So why not take physical health seriously? Including muscle memory, physical health consists of anything external from your hair, skin, and nails to everything internal, including what you put in and what comes out. Exercise, movement, nutrition, metabolism, digestive system. Some of the mental components include awareness, motivation, emotional intelligence, honesty, and guess what? Some anxieties too. On the spiritual side, we have energy, courage, positivity, and discipline, where there is a great argument that it belongs on the mental side. Hmm. We will soon find out. And once you get all that knowledge inside of your mental storage, we now have and understand balance. So here's the thing. The brain is an organ and it tells the rest of your body what to do. It controls your movements and recognizes physical pain. So if you're not taking care of your body, you are not taking care of your brain. The heart is another organ that pumps blood throughout your system, and we need that blood to be as clean as possible, right? Okay, so where do we begin? We begin by telling you that before you self-diagnose yourself as being depressed, make sure you check the people around you. You could be surrounded by a bunch of a-holes or something uncomfortable within your environment. We covered that in Chapter 5. Okay, let's... Go! Some doctors recommend that we walk at least 10,000 steps every day. Basically, you have to shake a leg, but here's the trick. You like to eat? We all do, don't we? And oh boy, do I love it. You got to watch what you eat. And if you eat processed foods, then you're asking your body to process processed foods. And that doesn't make any sense. You're making your body work harder than it should. One of the keys is to control our insulin levels, which are your sugars. We are definitely what we eat. And every time we eat bad, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's okay to go and have a Big Mac every now and then, but we're talking about eating processed foods continuously. And if you eat three meals in a row that are processed, it makes it impossible for your body to digest it like if it was whole foods or foods that carry better nutritional value. Start eating some good stuff in between with something like an apple for fiber. And drink some water sometimes. When you think you are hungry, you might just be thirsty. Dehydration is very important to maintaining a good metabolism. We are talking about eating heavy foods that give you the itis. When you have to take a nap, while you should be walking to make sure your metabolism stays active. Kind of like shaking a soda bottle and sending you to the bathroom before you pass out. So your metabolism is working while you're sitting or even sleeping. So what are you going to do? The more you eat, the more you have to exercise. Are you going to sacrifice eating? Or are you going to continue to eat a lot and bad stuff so you can spend two or three hours in the gym almost every day? Some people are gifted and they have a high metabolism. They can eat anything 
and it goes right through them. A lot of those people end up getting very heavy later in life because their metabolism in their body was challenged so much. We only have so much life left in us and nobody knows when that clock stops. We have to start taking care of ourselves before that time comes. We have to stop being selfish and expect someone to take care of us because of something that we could have avoided. Something that we just kept eating and ignoring the signs of stomach pains and headaches along with other body areas. Ignoring the signs and what people would say to make life difficult for ourselves and not care about the consequences later. Interesting. Everybody has formulas to lose weight. But I guarantee that if you stop eating processed foods and start drinking more water, you will lose weight without exercise if that is what you want to do. Exercise will get you there faster and add to the extra health component. Let's not forget too much of anything is too much. Did you know that rolling around on your back and squeezing your knees for a few minutes a day helps reduce back pain, avoids varicose veins, heals migraines, joint pains, and improves digestion too? Nothing has more of a direct influence on overall health than wellness, which is necessary to live a fulfilled life of happiness. Your well-being relies on taking proactive steps and living your life responsibly. This is what it means when they say you are health conscious. There are many categories when it comes to wellness. Usually the first thing that people think about when they hear physical wellness is exercise. We already know how important regular physical activity is. The other components are also just as important, including intelligence, nutrition, emotions, being social, spiritual, financial, and environmental. Health is the state that you are in. Wellness is the strategy to become or remain healthy. Physical fitness increases with physical wellness and the benefits are worth it. Remember when we said the brain is an organ? Well, exercise will stimulate your brain and help it to work to the best of its ability. How about preventing diseases and illnesses? How does that sound? So try a little bit more walking, go walk your dog, go hiking or a little bit of cycling too. And have fun like when you were a youngster. Don't you remember how it felt to be active and not lazy? Aren't you tired of a boring life? What's next? You are what you eat, right? So you gotta eat a balanced diet. You gotta drink plenty of water. Yeah, you gotta understand that having good nutrition helps your metabolism. You also gotta get enough sleep. And that's all attached to physical wellness. Now let's talk about the mind a little bit more. There is such thing as exercising your mind. Activities such as learning something new, problem solving, and creativity all support a better attitude. Like they say, knowledge is power, but you have to know what level to go to next and what to do when things become challenging. Do you know by learning new things you could avoid mental illness in the future? The ones that stop learning literally stay stuck? Let's not forget about emotional wellness where you can deal with these stressful situations and not become emotional when it's not necessary. Let's remember that it's okay to have feelings and no one can deny what you feel. But your actions and your thoughts are controlled by you and feelings are only temporary. Emotional intelligence can help you avoid a lot of unnecessary stress by being aware of your surroundings. This can help you understand what empathy towards others is and to have a strong self-esteem. Living free of toxins and toxic people promote a healthy physical living environment, which also contributes to wellness. You should clean your home more often than you think. It feels great and quite liberating to know that you might be getting rid of some of the bad spirits that may be lingering around that were manifested through negative conversations or toxic situations. Your support networks or your circles provide direct fulfillment of your social needs and leads to our overall well-being. Our relationships, who we interact with, our family, our friends, and everyone that we surround ourselves with should contribute to your happiness and living a healthier life. When we contribute to a community and work in our interpersonal skills, we become relevant and valuable to everyone except those who oppose a positive mindset because you know what they say, nobody likes to be miserable alone. Now let's talk about spiritualism, where I'd never suggest a religion of any kind, 
but I do suggest finding your purpose and the meaning of life or why we exist. This is where you can forgive, care, and develop compassion. These are the moments where you take for yourself and relax without any interference and where you can appreciate silence. When we are proactive and focus on prevention, our overall immune system prevents many possible traumas, pain, sicknesses, diseases, and system shutdowns. When it comes to your health, taking accountability after the fact can be too late. We need to take responsibility and put value in the decisions that we make. To be on the path to wellness, you must take charge of your lives to make lifestyle changes that improve health, prevent disease, and enhance your quality of life. To conclude, being aware about your health and the different components will make you realize that prevention is always better than any cure. So, why position yourself to solve a problem that doesn't have to exist? The vocabulary word for this podcast is metabolism which is the chemical reactions in the body cells that change food into energy. Our bodies need this energy to do everything from moving to thinking to growing. Specific proteins in the body control the chemical reactions of metabolism. There are three basic metabolism types, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Learning which body type you were born with helps in your fitness goals for the long run. Metabolic rate is influenced by many factors including age, gender, muscle, fat, physical activity, and hormone function. People with more muscle mass often have faster metabolisms that burn more calories. Having a small meal or snack every three to four hours keeps your metabolism going, so you burn more calories throughout the day. I want to thank everyone who is following us and has become part of the Omega family. We love and appreciate you all. As you know, we have a deep admiration for those who genuinely want to grow and live above the norm. We are here to offer enlightening information about life and its many challenges. We also offer an array of business consulting strategies to maximize your work production, promotion, marketing, and to lift the spirits of your company staff. We also offer personal consulting through our life program. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitch for daily motivational content and chances to win cash and nice prizes just for tuning in. Right here on YouTube for our show called P.S. I Love Me, usually on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, subject to change, so tap in and check out the weekly schedule for the showtimes and events.